Good Take is welcome back to the first take. I'm Ed Reese, and a couple of weeks ago, do you remember we had a trailer drop for um, the Snow White and the Huntsman sequel called The Huntsman? And it was a surprise. It looked way better than we'd expected it was going to look, and the cast was damn impressive. Like, wow. Like, holy shit. And now we have ourselves a trailer 2 already, which signifies that I kind of keep forgetting with all the other big action movies and superhero movies coming out this year. I keep forgetting about certain ones which kind of fall between the cracks and this is one of them. So a trailer 2 has dropped so they're showing that this can't really be that far away. So let's get into it man. See if it looks it as good as lost. It is the Snow tale you're looking for. Discover the story that came before. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? You are my queen, but not for long. Love that. Your sister holds a baby who will grow to be more beautiful than you. But beware, should any harm come to the child, your sister will unleash a power unlike anything the world has ever known. says that looks fun to me that looks fun to me I'm willing to go with it I am willing to go with it the last one Snow and the Huntsman wasn't life-changing you know it was a bit it had potential visually it was stunning uh, Charlie Strong was awesome in it she was a lot of fun she was really kind of uh, the engine that kind of kept that movie going Kristen Stewart was a little bit out of her element you know, it's a bit of a shame because she's capable of doing good things. She's shown with her indie movies, but didn't really shine that well in that movie. But there was there was little nuggets of potential in that one. This this looks so much better. But the problem is, as interesting as it looks, we kind of know how it's going to end up because it's a prequel, so we know that Charlie's Throng ends up winning. So her sister is defeated, and I don't know. I can't even remember how the fuck. Chris Hemsworth character ends up I think he's just living out in the wilderness somewhere when um you hook actually no was he like working for the Queen for Charlie Strong in Snow White movie I'm forgetting I'm forgetting it's been a while man it's not really a movie you want to watch over and over again but yeah basically you know that Charlie's wins so that's a bit of a bummer in that sense it takes away that excitement but maybe that's a kind of an interesting thing we get to see a movie where the bad guy wins for once. That doesn't happen much. And sometimes it's kind of fun to have the villain be the one is vic who is the victor. That's fucked up though. Killed the baby. Killed your sister's baby. Fuck. What, did she burn it? Because what, when the mum, when Emily Blunt walks to the, the crib, there's like smoke coming up from it. Said, oh, f that's fucked up. That's your niece, man. Oh, fucked. 
They're being smart though because they're taking advantage on one of the things that was visually appealing about Frozen. Because basically Emily Blunt is playing like a, a, a amped up Elsa, basically. You know, she's so got the ice powers freezing all the shit around her and she kind of surrounds herself in an ice palace. Just, yeah, it's basically Frozen in a fantasy superhero type setting. But it looks fun to me. I'm willing to go with it. I'm willing to go along with it. Like, I like the cast. I like all those girls. And Chris Hemsworth, you know, he's fun. He's fun to have. You know, I don't mind the guy. So, what about you? You feeling it? Did you hate or did you love Snow White, the Huntsman, the last one? And even if you hate it, does this look way more interesting to you? Let me know, guys. Write your comments down below. If you like the video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I am here to race. This will be my first take to the Huntsman Winter's War official trailer 2. Mm. Yeah, looks good. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Uh-huh.